Good morning, Aries. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tour over here today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Aries, there will be timestamps down below if you want to, you know, just st jump straight into the video. But I'm going to be doing my reading or my intro for you guys. So either way, um, this is going to be a weekly reading for the sign of Aries. Not all messages will resonate, but take or resonate and leave the rest behind. For that being said, Aries, if you do find that you're resonating with any of these messages, you're welcome to hit that like button or hit that, hit that subscribe button to let me know that you are resonating and enjoying my content. Um, if you want to you know, help further support my channel, you can hit that link in the description box below and it will take you to a place where you can help translate some of my videos and put subtitles on the videos so that way other people can uh, enjoy my content if they want subtitles on or just you know if they want it in a di different language so if you know Spanish English there's like five different Englishes out there so you, you can just <laughs> you can just click any and you know do whatever you want you know there's plenty of space for uh, tons of creators uh, and translators uh, in the YouTube section so yeah um, I would appreciate it and I'm sure they would appreciate it as well um, being able to not necessarily not necessarily listen to my message but they will appreciate you know being able to get my message that I'm saying out there you know but either way uh, let's oh let's <laughs> so today we'll be using the Rider Weight deck the spirit of the wheel meditation deck and these gems bowl of goodies cool whip container <laughs> all right so now let's jump right into the video two shuffles two shuffles for aries two shuffles for aries 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 all right all right all right all right here we go cool 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 so aries at the bottom of the deck you have the page of wands so that tells me that you could be needing to communicate or just learn something new that you know you, so you could be you know starting something new as well but either way you're just taking action towards something that just um may you know not so i feel like it's going to work out in your favor but you know so, something was burdening you in the past that may just that made you want to take action towards something else this week all right so let's see what you guys got let's see what you got for your weekly energy so you got the you have the nine of pentacles in reverse so that tells me that there's some sort of stress here so maybe you're stressing about a situation maybe someone is wanting to come towards you and uh take action towards you maybe offer you some you know like something <laughs> whether that's sexual or just uh, you know whatever it is it seems like or this could be you taking action towards something that you're just not sure about maybe you're having a hard time taking a leap of faith uh, because you know it scares you because right now you are at the nine of wands here one more one is going to really burden you so you don't want anything that's going to burden you you want something that you're going to take action towards that's going to be very stress-free aries and is going to really uh, motivate you to want to do something that you want to do but you may end up going towards something that is going to really stress you out even more and be much more of a burden but i guess you know you gotta take a chance right but it does look like whatever it is that you are taking a chance towards, it's going to release the burden. It's going to help you out. So you do have the King of Swords here, which is awesome. So that tells me that whatever it is, you're standing up for yourself. You're doing what's best for you. You're cutting off this negative energy or this burdening energy, and you're doing what is best for you. You're finally taking action and standing up for yourself and you're finally going to be able to relax and not really worry about you know what's happening right now and you can st start focusing on the future a little bit you know that's awesome Aries it does seem like your passion though 
is going away. You know, maybe you lost your passion towards something, towards a connection or towards a work situation, and you're just like, I can't do this anymore. It's starting to be a huge burden. It's not even a passion of mine to do this anymore. I'm just going to cut my losses and let it go because that is, you know, what is best for you. You know, you don't really have an interest in this situation anymore and you're wanting to go so towards something that is more interesting to you. All right. So Aries, you do have the nine of cups here. You also have the knight of cups here. So there could be some sort of uh, love, passion uh, coming towards you or a passionate connection coming towards you. Uh, just be careful and make sure that cup is full because this is the knight of cups and you want to make sure that that cup is full with water or love so that way um, they can fill your cup up and you can fill up theirs as well. So it would be an equal give and take situation. It does seem like you're a bit unsatisfied with how they approached you. Um, maybe this person approached you in a certain way and you didn't like it so you just cut them off and now they're going to approach you in the right way this time and it may cause some arguments like why did you do this in the first place why didn't you just do it this why didn't you just do it this way in the first place you know last time you were just a player and now you actually want love and it's causing all these arguments and it does look like you're going to come out as the victor um but there's going to be a lot of arguments and you know it, it may have someone walk away from the situation and uh you may remove yourself from a third party situation if there was one there are three people in this card there's also three people in this area you know as well coming towards you so maybe you have a few offers and you're rejecting the person that is taking action towards you and you're going towards someone that is you know wanting to actually love you uh, but at the same time you're kind of scared to go towards them because you're you're still hurting you know you have this huge burden and you don't want to be you have you almost have a burden here so if you take action towards this person you don't want it to be a burden right you don't want to be a burden on this person. You don't want this person to be a burden on you. But it turns out that you're going to be releasing the burden. So whatever it was that was burdening you and unsatisfying you, you're going to be releasing it. So that is really good. Um, so this week is going, going to be about releasing the burden, doing what is best for you, getting rid of anything that is no longer satisfying for you, and just going towards your passion, going towards things that you are, you know, wanting to be around and, you know, cutting off, you know, negative energy or negative vibes that no longer serve you. All right. So let's see what you got for your bowl of goodies. All right. So you got your amethyst amethyst pendant so that tells me that you could be needing some clarity on a situation maybe you have anxiety and you just need to calm down for a little bit amethyst you know just holding it will really calm your nerves and you know help you out in, in the situation and it will also help you get clarity but if you're just looking for clarity i would suggest you know getting some clear quartz which you do have here or some pink quartz or any type of quartz because quartz you know help you listen to your intuition they help you get clarity on a situation and get rid of any illusions that you may um, that may be around you and allow you to really listen to your intuition and do what is best for you all right so you do have the jade um, rock here uh, before you did have the onyx but I had to redo the reading um, but yeah uh, you got very similar messages, so it's basically the same message, but different rocks, different stuff, different, a little bit different cards, so yeah, but pretty much the same reading. Either way, you got defensive here, so you could be a bit defensive, and that could be where this aggressive energy is going towards, like you're being a bit defensive, 
you're not wanting to really be approached right now um, but at the same time you are wanting love but you want to make sure it's actually love uh, someone could be being defensive towards you like how can you treat me like this I thought we had a connection and you're just like no it wasn't a connection it was just sexual it wasn't actually love and you're releasing the burden and you're wanting to go towards someone that is that you actually have a passion towards you know you do have this uh sacral chakra energy um i kind of just found this rock in the middle of nowhere so i was just like you know what uh i'll take it you know it's like a solar plexus sacral energy so cool uh, you have the desert into <laughs> desert rose, so that tells me that you're needing to really listen to your intuition and do what is best for you. So you're getting a really strong intuitions, uh, rocks and you know cards. So really listen to your intuition this week. It will point you in the right direction, help you move towards things that is going to be more fulfilling for you and less burdening. So it does look like this week may be a bit of a standstill. So you may take some time to, you know, really think about the decisions that you want to make before you make them. And for the last one, you have fertility. So there's some sort of new idea, new uh, job offer or, you know, something. You could also be finding out that you're pregnant or maybe you're finding out that they got uh, you, that your partner got someone pregnant or you know, that your sister is pregnant, you know, whatever it is, you know, it's going to cause some endings, but that's okay, because there is so much good happening in this reading that you shouldn't even focus on the negative vibes, and you should just focus on yourself and do what is best for you. Um, if you want to go towards love, you can, even though you do have some sort of sexual energy here. Um, there's also a love energy as well. So you may be needing to choose between two people and you also may be cutting someone out that is more sexual and not really a passionate connection or that you actually have feeling for, uh, feelings towards. So you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to leave this person be and not really focus on them at all and i'm going to do what is best for me and really go towards things that i'm actually passionate about and not and just like release things that are you know burdening for me and you know finally be stress free and don't have to worry about what i'm doing you know every five minutes you know i can finally relax oh i just realized that the uh the anima, this uh, pendant broke. Dang. I'm going to have to get a new one. Uh, oh, well. All right, so Aries, I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot the Spirit of the Wheel meditation deck. I almost forgot. I completely forgot. <laughs> the But good thing I turned the camera because... It was right there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go, Aries. What do we got for Aries? What do we got for Aries? Aries, Aries, Aries. So like I was saying before, you have ideas that are in the works. You're just not sure how to implement them. Or maybe you're going to be making a decision to go towards something that is going to help bring you a more uh, nurturing and fulfilling connection. Um, maybe you are wanting a family and what you are, what you have been going towards bef in the past just wasn't what you wanted because maybe they didn't want a family or, you know, anything like that. You have leadership. So Aries, you guys are natural leaders. Uh, you also have self-discipline and psychic abilities. So if you do have psychic abilities, they are being heightened during this time it is there's also going to be like three eclipses in a row um you know two eclipses this month and then one next month or something like that and it's going to you know allow you to listen to your intuition and do what is best for you like you have a lot of 
intuition cards and rocks here so that tells me that you really need to listen to your intuition and that there could be some self-discipline that needs to be made so like if you're very sexual maybe you need to discipline yourself a little bit so that way you're not as sexual or just not as sexual but like just like discipline yourself because you know self-discipline is always a good thing because if you know self-discipline then you can you know lose weight faster or you know whatever it is you know it whatever it is that you want to do that you want to control yourself because Aries you guys are really good at controlling things and you know taking action and doing what is best for you you're needing to you know self-discipline yourself to cut the toxic energies away or cut the things that or cut your losses and just do what is best for you one more card and you got self-reflection inner rhythms and intuition so again really listen to your intuition this week it's going to really help you out when it comes to making decisions um, you may be doing some self-reflection so really focusing on yourself this week doing what is best for you realizing that there may be some toxic energies around you that you need to get rid of in order for the good energies to, um, you know, really flow through you and do what is best for you. All right, so Aries, it's going to be your reading for today. I hope you guys resonate and enjoy this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help grow my channel, and I really do appreciate it. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the description box below. If you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel, you can hit that channel button. I've been doing weekly, I've been doing monthly, and I've been doing yearly videos for more than a year now. So, uh, yeah, um, you can check those videos out um, by just hitting that channel button. It will take you to all the videos on my channel. Um, but if you just want to go click on another video, you can hit that pop-up video and it'll take you to another one of my videos that YouTube recommends for you guys. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.